everything sort of starts out down a little bit, but nothing right. to worry about. Ah, boring summer fight. Almost, you know, right. a day we haven't had in a long time. Right. Just not exciting. Then all of a sudden, S&P says, ooh, we're worried about bear. Right. Bear goes down. Market goes down. And then all of a sudden, things kind of calm down. Bear comes out and right. says, hey, we're okay, guys. We're okay. Everything's fine. Bear goes back up to neutral. Market's only down 20. Right. Then bear comes out and says, oh, worst bond market in 22 years. Yeah. And that's where we are right well, now. The market's down 100 points. How do you bear trade Stern, this? Memo to Bear Stearns. Uh, you got to adopt a Henry Ford uh, attitude here, which is uh, never explain, never complain. And they didn't do that. You keep your mouth shut during this period. You don't say a thing because you're going to say something but that people don't like. But then we complain and we say, hey, come on, yeah, guys. Keep your mouth shut. Come because, out here and talk about your exposure. No, you speak softly and you wait to that level where you think the shorts have overdone the stock. And then you do what Dick Fold did in, mm -hmm. in 1998. You pick up the phone to guys like me and you say, 32 bid, 1 million, and then you get whacked, and you come back and say, 31 bid for 2 million. They're not doing that. That just that inspires more fear. I don't want to create fear. I like Bear Stearns very much, but mm -hmm. I think that at this stage, this is not a good call. They shouldn't have done it, and they should have just said, you know what? Mm -hmm. We're doing well, and don't say another <laughs> thing. Just don't say it, because just... it does not... It does not inspire confidence to have 10 headlines coming over about what to do. I don't like it. All right, I hear you. Now, I still, though, you know, when we said, and hey, look, let's the Dow can rally. We, we've seen the Dow no, rally. I know. I'm not even, but I mean, it's right. just interesting, this, this bigger... Well, this is about companies. Bernanke. This is about Bernanke. He has to be on that call. Forget the investors. The investors are going to do... If Bernanke, listens, sure Bernanke, Bernanke needs to open the discount the window. That's how bad things are out there. Bernanke needs to focus on this. Alan Greenspan told everyone to take a teaser rate and then raise the rate 17 times. And Bernanke is being an academic. It is no time to be an academic. It is time to get on the Bear Stearns call. Listen, open the darn Fed window. He has no idea how bad it is out there. He has no idea. He has no idea. I have talked to the heads of almost every single one of these firms in the last 72 hours, and he has no idea what it's like out there. None! And Bill Poole has no idea what it's like out there. My people have been in this game for 25 years, and they are losing their jobs, and these firms are going to go out of business, and he's nuts! They're nuts! They know nothing! Kramer. I have not seen I, it like this I since I went five bid for a half a million shares of Citigroup and I got hit in 1990. This is a different kind of market. And the Fed is asleep. Okay, but here's the thing. Bill, Bill Poole is a shame. He's shameful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know he you're ought to go and read the accredited home second. document. At least I read the darn thing. Hold on, I know you're passionate and I hear you. But, but, but at the same time, a lot of people are saying this is, yes, it, there's certain types of mortgages that aren't available. There are, you there can't are all get a of darn issues. loan if you're rich like say, me. But Kramer, but Kramer, if he did what you said, which seems to me from the way cut you the just explained yourself. Cut, to, it, to, cut the rate. Open the discount window. Okay, cut the rate. Who we'll the pressure. Week and cuts rate. Who we'll the pressure. You're going to have, that's going to cause Armageddon. No, we have Armageddon. I wouldn't try to cause it. That we get, we have Armageddon in the fixed income markets. We have Armageddon. No, but that's not. We what they have say. Armageddon. They say even when you, when I've talked to a couple if of banks, they, CEOs, they don't rate, say it's Armageddon. Well, who they I, say it's repricing. They're very firm about oh, that. Oh, great. Now. Okay, well, let them be calm, and then have them call me on the way home, like they do every night, and tell me, Kramer, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to help us? Are you going to help us? Are you going to stand on the sideline like everybody else and say that it's fine? Will somebody come on TV and tell the truth about how bad it but is? A lot of people say, these same people say, it's not Ben Bernanke and the rate that matters. The bond market That's now wrong. is completely it is the separate rate. from the It's rate. entirely the The bond rate. market is trading no, separately it's entirely from the rate. rate. We, look, we, we'll spend billions in Iraq to build homes. We are going to have thousands of people. We have thousands of people losing yes. their homes right now. 14 million people took a mortgage in the last three years. Seven million of them took teaser rates or took piggyback rates. Mm -hmm. They will lose their homes. This is crazy. Yes. And I am I, I, sorry to be upset about it, but you have to understand what they're saying to me off the record before I come in here every night and every day. And what I hear from these blowhard managers who act like, call someone for heaven's sake. Go call someone. I worked at fixed income at Goldman Sachs. This is not the time to be complacent. All right. I That's mean, Jordan, sometimes I wish I didn't know anybody so I could just sit here and say, you know what? Just go buy some Washington Mutual and take that yield. Unfortunately, I know too many people and I'm too darn old. You are 62.
I've been sitting around for too long. I mean, look, I got to tell you, he has got to listen. to He's got to call somebody. Bernanke has to call someone. He is. He just has to he's call. Not, I can't he believe he's just sitting there. Fed me. No, 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 no. They're not calling anybody. Okay. And Bill Poole? Bill Poole? I know what you Bill think Poole, of Bill listen Poole. to me. There was a president by the name of Hoover, okay? And no one thinks much of him hey, now. The great engineer. And a quick reminder, all the recommendations expressed by Jim Cramer are solely his and are not the opinions of CNBC and may have been previously disseminated by him. Before acting on a recommendation, consider its suitability for your circumstances and consider seeking advice from your own financial advisor.